everyone. My name is Amparo Lopez and I am professor at Hydraulic and Environmental Engineering Department at Technical University in Valencia. Today we will speak about pressure pipes and open channel systems for water distribution. When we finish the object, we will be able to properly distinguish between open channel and pressurized flow within a water distribution system in general. So, first we will be speaking of pipes, channels, some definition, some comparison between both and some different application of any of them in general in water distribution system for finally conclude. Which are the difference between pipes and channels? We will be speaking about the conferences. Both are systems thought to translate fluid, to permit the path of fluid in terms of flow. Fluids are characterized for density and viscosity and the fact that they move continuously in a system. But the difference between them is that pipes are closed, so the confined flow always makes an increase or decrease of pressure inside the pipe, different from atmospheric pressure. In terms of this, in the other side, we have the channels, in which, in this case, they can do the water from one point to another, but always they have a free surface connected to atmospheric pressure in surface. So, which is the reason because they move water? Because the difference of energy. And the differences of energy are really different in both cases. In the case of open channel flow, flow occurs because gravity, because we have a difference of head. So, the potential energy makes the fluid to move from higher points to lower points. It's only the head which moves the fluid. In this case, we will have a surface always connected with the free atmospheric in atmospheric pressure. So, we have the drought, the, the volume of the fluid conducted by the channel to, touching the basis, and always the pressure will be increased in terms of small quantities due to static pressure mainly, and always we will have a free atmospheric condition. On the other hand, in pressurized flows, we have difference in pressure. We will have lower than atmospheric pressure, we will have higher than atmospheric pressure, and many, many different points with different pressures. So, which are these differences? In terms of flow, in pressurized we have them in closed conduit. In open channel we have open conduit always connected to the atmosphere. In terms of surface, fluids within a pipe do not necessarily have to be a free surface. Fluids within a flow, surface flow, will have a surface atmospheric pressure. In terms of the energy aspects, inside the pipe, the energy is based on pressure difference. Inside the channel, we will have gravity aspects moving there to push the system. In terms of velocity, the maximum velocity within a pipe will occur in the center of a pipe. Instead of this, in a channel, the high velocity will be in the surface, because in the bottom the fluid will be stagnant. In terms of hydraulic gradient line, in the case of pressure pipe flow, it will not coincide with the surface. In the terms of open channel, generally it coincides with the surface in this case. Different applications can be found. For example, in water distribution systems, in which pressure must be ensured in any conditions, we will have normally pipes close confined volumes in terms of pressure pipes. 
in irrigation systems, sometimes we will be able to have channels because there is not such a problems of quality and there are not such problems of pressure. So in this case, this application is also used. We can have also open channel flow in sewer systems and in other cases. For example, in industrial applications, we will use to have pressure pipes. So we have different moments in which different installations can be used in different sort of ways to move the fluid. To conclude, we will be remembered that the movement of water will be happening inside some sort of conduit. In the case of pipes, it will be pressure flow with pressures different from atmospheric. In the case of channel, impulsed by gravity, always we will have a free surface with atmospheric conditions and this will be able to be used in different applications. I hope this has been of your interest and Thank you very much indeed.